JFK's brain has been missing since at least 1966. So in case you missed it, John F. Kennedy was a US president that was assassinated in 1963 by a lone gunman and or take your pick of theories. We've been at this one for a really long time and it's really not the point of this video. During JFK's autopsy, his brain was placed in a stainless steel container and eventually ended up in a locker in a secure room in the National Archives under the watch of his former secretary, Evelyn Lincoln. However, in October 1966, it was discovered that the locker had vanished and then President Lyndon B. Johnson ordered his attorney general to investigate. They never found the brain, but they did find evidence that JFK's brother, Robert Kennedy, took the brain, and with it, some medical slides and tissue samples. Unsurprisingly, this disappearance has sparked numerous conspiratorial offshoots of an already hotly debated assassination, like the possibility that the damaged Kennedy's brain could definitively prove a second shooter, or that the Kennedys are actually members of the Archelian monarchy. But it's more likely that the Kennedys just wanted to keep JFK's medical history and illnesses a family secret, which they certainly have a tendency to do rather remorselessly.